All right. Uh, welcome to episode episode eleven of the Kill Box. What'd you do to it? What'd I'm, you do to my cream soda? I'm Matt. Oh, we started. I'm also Matt. I'm not Matt. You are Mike. I'm Mike. And you play Trollbloods, and I play Kador, and he plays Circle. Signar. Ah. Signar and Trollblood. You dabble in Signar. You dabble or in everything. Dabble in Circle. Well, anyway, today we're going to have uh, two different point of views. We're going to do like a little... The mouth of that cream soda tastes a little bit like asshole. It's probably because it was asshole. I'm pretty sure it was Matt's asshole. Like, not my asshole, but Matt's asshole. I did it yeah. again! <laughs> yeah, yeah that's asshole. Well, anyway... Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, since since these two guys have recently got into two new factions. Well, not new, but Signar and Menoth, respectively. New to us. New, new to us. you guys. So uh, also new to the to the War Machine side of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to discuss about uh, maybe changing factions. You know what 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 different things have you pros and cons. The pros and cons. What has it been easy? Has it been tough? Stuff like that. So uh, we'll start off with Matt. Uh, Matt, you changed from circle to... I didn't change, I added. You added. I added men on. <laughs> Which, you know, you've dabbled around with different systems before, but you've kind of jumped head first into men off. So, uh, yeah, um, this is the first War Machine faction I've ever played. Um, you know, I, I have circle, I've played... I have a legion, a couple legion lists I like to play, and uh, the full Thornfall list, but this is the first War Machine. And, um, I mean, it hasn't... You know, I, I tend to forget allocation a lot, but I'm, that was you know, the first couple games. <laughs> yeah, I'm, getting, I'm getting used to I'm it. There too. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, there hadn't been that hard to pick up the system because you know you play against other war yeah, machine players watch. and you you pick it up. I mean, it's yeah, it's not like starting fresh well, or anything. With with gameplay changes, I know from Circle to Minoth, that's a big gameplay change. Huge, yeah. huge. <laughs> so completely so different. so talk about some some gameplay uh, like advantages and disadvantages that you've seen. Uh, disadvantages uh, with Menoth, no path. Well, limited pathfinder, limited pathfinder yeah. um, would be my main thing. I'm used to circle where you know I can go wherever I want and I don't care, and I can go For there. The most part, I can go yeah. there pretty fast, and uh, not much of Menoth is. I mean, it's not slow. You know, they're not the slowest mm -hmm. faction, but uh, they're not circle, and uh, so yeah, it's you know there's a lot of order uh, of activation. A lot more important. In well, my, well, not but more you're, important. You're but used to that too with circle. Yeah, yeah. With the with the stones, if you want to do double shifts or something like that, that's a lot of order activation issues. Yeah. So that and that that's kind of similar in that respect. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's nice to have like errants. I love errants. <laughs> They're just so good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's 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 not. So, uh, what's some of the uh, some of the pros that you've had? from switching factions? Like, has it opened your mind to, like, maybe some different routes that you would like to take or something like that? Um, I can't believe I'm going to say this, because um, I've always said the opposite. But uh, I can't, I like the Fury. The uh, Fury system might be a little better, like, as far as transferring damage. It really kind of... <laughs> uh, Way better. Yeah. But, you <laughs> yeah. know, I, I always say... Like, yeah, no, no, I, I always That's a say, general consensus of anybody who plays War Machine Horse. But so like 85% yeah. of the people... He's talking about, like, the, the, the end game. Yeah. Like, oh, he, yeah. He always gets the end game being like, well, I'm kind of fucked. Yeah, you lose yeah. your beast. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're fucked. Your end game, yeah. It's, Both it's, of those, they have their pros and cons. Oh, of course. Here, of know. course. Um, pros, other pros, it's... Uh, I love all the AOEs in uh, in, in Menoth. Uh, it's a lot, a lot more. Um, yeah. I don't know. For for someone uh, fire maybe fire everywhere. for someone maybe starting Menoth, what do you uh, what do you suggest? Do you suggest the battle box? Do you like? I think the two player battle box has a better group of jacks in it. But uh, uh, yeah, you but, get, also, but you won't use the incinerators. incinerators so. Yeah, but you can the incinerator. Bases look exactly like the bastions. Yeah, I guess if you, so if you just put halberds on them, I they're pretty. Exact, they like they would they're still they're be good for they, tournaments. They look a little similar. I think the Can't shoulder pads are different. Yeah. Eh, you, I mean, you, you can, had to okay it with a TO, but you could yeah. you could go to the privateer press and buy some shoulder pad pads and halberds and mm -hmm. not spend near as much. As, you true. know what I mean? Because you're getting so much. You're getting you're basically paying forty five dollars for you incinerators. A Vanquisher, Vanquishers a Reckoner, amazing. and a Crusader. No, you're getting no. a Crusader and a Vanquisher. You're going to get incinerators. 
With the two player, the little they don't get a light jack. <laughs> really? Yep, but they get the little spray jack, the repenter. Nope. No, no, oh, no. yeah, yeah, they get the repenter yeah. too. Yeah, I was thinking about the re the not the, the not the the, yeah. the halberd guy. Yeah, man. yeah no, which, which I they mean, get a spray bot. They get the spray bot. They get the uh, the crusader, and they get a vanquisher. Yes, they do. And then they get the full unit box. of incinerators. Now, crusaders are, good. now, for six points, crusaders yeah. are it's hard to beat. Now, on the other hand, you have the standard it. starter, which you would get. Everything you drop the vanquisher and you get the um, the arc node jack, the light arc node jack, mm -hmm. which he's kind of interesting too, because you can defenders ward him. You can put him up to the armor twenty one for a light with repel. With repel. With repel. Yeah. And uh, he has set defense, so he goes up to defense like uh, fifteen mm -hmm. on a charge. Gets a charge. Uh, 14. Fourteen. Fourteen. Or 15. 15. No protector jacks have thirteen. No. Okay. Signal our light jacks have thirteen. But with 14s. set defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. goes up to yeah, yeah. it goes from twelve to fourteen. Yeah, defenders yeah. ward him. And you can defenders yeah. ward him. So 16. he goes to a fifteen. Or sixteen. 16 yeah. Yeah. Oh. Which is kind of ridiculous on a light jack. He's a sixteen twenty one against your charge. <laughs> and if you do hit him, he bounces you yeah. back an inch. Like, yeah, back. <laughs> it's good so. with, with uh um P. Creos's feet. Oh, if you're it's going great. for pop and drop. Mm -hmm. You can uh get him out there and launch some spells and knock yeah. him and stuff. It's decent. It's not too bad. Either way, so great. so with a starter. So either way, um, what if you're coming into the faction like you do? What do you suggest purchasing? Uh, I came in strong. Uh, I have every game I played was fifty points. I've never played below fifty. With yeah, we're talking now. the experienced yeah. player here. So. Um, you know, you got to have choir. Um, I love P seven. You got to have uh, the hierophant. Yeah, is pretty. Yeah, let's talk about good. just the units. Maybe so you're gonna go choir, hierophant, yeah, choir. Um, Errants are great yeah. with any any of them, any caster. With really. Seneschal or without Seneschal? With. Yeah. Preferably uh, with. Preferably with. with, but I mean, it's, it's so up. hard to fit everything you need. Even in a 50-point list, there's so much support you need. Um, two vassals or one? Again, two. I like playing vassal, two. The vassal, the one that gives out alignment and alignment are one point, right? No, he's two. two. They're two. They're two points apiece. So, so I would, I would, two. and like your list, you have two vassals. I would take one of them out, and put the Seneschal in. You get more work that done that way. You could. Well, uh, in I certain did, I lists, I only have one vassal in my list. Oh. Yeah. In certain lists, I think that's fun. And then in other yeah. lists, when, when you bring, when I, I'm a f like it, like when you bring a unit, you bring everything you can mm -hmm. for that unit. Yeah, of or course. You just don't play it. And pick something else. I don't know. Like, sometimes I play Winter Guard without Grigorovich. Uh, it depends on the caster, though. Mm -hmm. Like, P. Sorcia can do it without Gregorovich. Of course, because you don't you need don't need attack at all. <laughs> you don't need it. But E. Sorcia loves Gregorovich. Yeah. <laughs> um, other units, Zealots, are the, my favorite unit in the game. Zealots are probably the most aggravating thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> they, you know, they are so fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'm going to start putting Grey Lords in my army mm -hmm. just for Zealots. <laughs> I mean, hopefully they won't do the new to your spells. I'll just talk to fucking jacks behind them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or the gray lords, just spray them in the butts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're they're fucking <sighs> so good. Yeah, we we played a game on Sunday, yeah. and that was the best use I've ever gotten yeah. out of the zealots. They, they are so good. Took they out do work like every Kazi. Mm -hmm. uh, took out the objective. Um, That's what they, they do. do. They uh, they are workhorses of your Menoth army for six uh, points. For six eight point. with yeah, with eight. Attachment. But still eight points. It's not bad. Eight points for ten range five. Oh, Kyle, 15 eleven under under eye. Or eleven under under eye of Menoth and their fervor spell. They can be doing blast damage of nine. Mm -hmm. If you connect, that's pal fifteens. They're little cheap fuckers. And that's and that's how Menoth is is played. They're they're played with that stack so of buffs mm -hmm. and cheapness like. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's how they're gonna play. What else would you? Cheese. No, yeah. no. Just kidding. Talk about cheese. You will get to there. <laughs> this guy. What about Bastions? Do you suggest Bastions? I love Bastions. Um, Pretty awesome. What, what about with Seneschal? Uh, yeah. He's three, three points. points. He's three, three points. points. Yeah, but he get... makes them so much better. Yeah. He makes them mitigate so much more damage. But with two turns, though. they heal. Like up to ten points. We're getting into damage. that that problem with Menoth. Mm -hmm. Like you're like here's here's so all this great my support. Yeah. Here's my support, and my support takes up like a fifth of my army. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a fourth. Probably a fourth. And I mean, 
You have to you have to pick and choose sometimes. Yeah, I I don't use him. I don't, I don't have when him. I, when I played Protector and ran Peace Heavy, I did not go Jack Heavy at all. I run I four had, jacks. I had maybe a Vanquisher or a Reckoner, and then the rest was just infantry machine, like a sea of weapon masters mm -hmm. that could do you know bastions, exemplar errants. Had the Vessel of Judgment in there for all his awesomeness, and then you know book all that good stuff. Yeah, uh, the just, book is another thing that you need to pick up. Color, oh yeah. Book. The coloring book. Co the Covenant. 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 Yeah. yeah. The coloring book. Um, <clears throat> unit wise, yeah. That's that's. Batch incinerators are not. I don't. I hate incinerators. Incinerators are. They're mal. They're maligned. They're, they're maligned. They're um, not. They could uh, use a good attachment. Would be. They could. If they got a Sinishal that um, gave them something. <coughs> But they're they're one point higher armor than bastions. Like, right. I feel like bastions are victim reach. stats, but then they have their that sanguine bond thing oh, going. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's like and it's like fuck. Like I could defenders ward them and make them, you know, thirteen eighteens, but then my front line doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's weird. No, you definitely keep it on the front line until you until the bastions enter, and then it's you true. Can put it on them, and then thirteen. And then they're 18, hard to remove. Yeah, thirteen oh, eighteen yeah. with all that. And then healing, you know, the the healing, special. and then and even the Hierophant can walk up and heal one. The Hierophant, I think, can only heal the Warcaster. Yeah, I don't know. is it Warcaster? I think only? it's Warcaster. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know either. Off the top of my head, but uh, yeah. but yeah, I mean that's yeah, but definitely Bastions. But definitely uh, Bastions. Uh, you can't go wrong with Flame Guard, Temple Flame Guard. Yeah, Temple Flame Guard are Ethi a solid. Ethi the Efior, I think, loves Temple. Flame of course, the most. But Harby loves Temple Flame Guard. That's who likes the fun guard. Well, so does he, Fiora. Yeah, but uh, Harvey's, uh, she can do a lot with them because she can push herself forward with that wave of Temple Flame Guard. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, because they're shield so walling cheap. in the book, you can't, they can't be knocked down, so they're always shield walling, and then you can just martyr to them, yeah, and then Rupert can tough them. Mm -hmm. and they just have a, a fucking really it's hard to remove wall yeah. of tears yeah. and auto fire on the spears to combine <laughs> melee. Yeah. It's really good. It's really and they're like, they're like 13... 13 13? They're 13 13. Mm -hmm. They have set defense, yeah, shield, wall. shield wall. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Yeah. So if you play them with a the defender's ward caster and you defender's ward them... 15 that means, Yeah. Yeah, really good. Really Speed good. 6. I think you should take your zealots out. Put in the... Uh, oh, zealots are so good. Though. Nah, I'm not taking the zealots out. You're wrong. <laughs> no, you're wrong. You're I'm wrong. just trying to get them to take their zealots out because I hate their zealots. <laughs> okay, take your errands out and put the, right, the temple flame guard in. Yeah, I considered it actually. Different kind of with uh, with Sevi. Defenders ward them. Let's talk about some uh, some jacks. Unless you want to talk about some more units. Uh, am I forgetting any any good uh, units? Grievous is good. Gravis. Um, I haven't used them, but the skirmishers, the Indrian skirmishers, I think they'd be pretty I think fun. they're kind of interesting. They're kind of expensive. They're you know, very really expensive. But they're with Prey, with Huntsman? Well, they're 12 points. 12 Pro. models. Yeah. So a point of model. That's... But, you know, with, with Prey and Camouflage, you got, mm -hmm. they're not bad. They're not bad. They're a little bad. maligned, just like the... Just like Trenchers. Like, they're good. Like, I would play Trenchers if they weren't fucking 10 points. Like, I was, like, looking at it and making a list of, like, just trying to put a bunch of trencher things in. Yeah. And it was, like, 20 fucking points to get all <laughs> yeah. the cool it's stuff. I'm like, ah, yeah, this is stupid. Yeah. It's true. Uh, what about, um, any solos? Any more solos? Oh, so Maybe. many solos. Yeah. yeah. Like, what Nissi about the paladins? Is amazing. Paladins are amazing. Uh, with, you know, Vilma. Well, what, okay. Well, instead of that, what should they avoid, maybe? I'm trying to get in. They're really... I think the protected. Order of the Fist... I think they're you should no, they're I don't really think they should avoid them. I think you should play them, and if they you like that style, they're then good. Go they're it's not, not really bad. Manoth style, but yeah, it's weird. But they're all. not bad. They just they people have just found out that there's you know there's you other want, things. Uh, you want a solo like Achilles solo, bring the knight exemplar Seneschal or Nisia. Those two things are going to get more killing done mm -hmm. and harder to remove. You know. Especially the uh, exemplar Seneschal. Yeah, he's just yeah. like, oh, I'm disabled? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. You, you have to kill him and just choose not to kill anything else. Yeah, yeah. it's like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, or do all your killing or kill first. Him last. Kill yeah, him yeah him try and kill him last. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Okay, so let's talk about some jacks. What are, what are some have to have jacks? Um, 
Let's go through some R names. <laughs> yeah. Reckoner. 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 Is... Best Jack. Best Jack. Probably the best uh, Jack, I think, I'll, I'll, I'll cross all factions. Oh, I don't agree with that. It's I think, great. It's great non character. We'll go with non character Jack. I think the Reckoner is the best. With assault, his gun, flare, concealment, the or ash and veil, his reach. I mean, he's just a damn good Jack. Speed five. Speed I five. I mean, now with the Speed new stick. with the yeah. new uh, Sears Matt Jacks, he might fire. have some. Mm -hmm. He might have some some different things because Sears Jacks are really good too. Yeah, Soffer's a like stupid. Soffer's really good. I really don't like how Sears looks. I don't either. <laughs> like they're, they're I can't like their units look. and their warcasters are like, ah, you did a good job, and then like this Jack comes out and it's like, <laughs> I think the Jack's, <laughs> Jack's fine if you like that style of art. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not I feel it's like really just like you, they're just so they just don't look like they can take a beating at yeah, all. Yeah, they they look very fragile. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk about so we're talking about men on. Yeah, <laughs> stay on topic. Um, well, no, like if a, a serious Jack is like walking over a rock and that rock like turns, like he's like, ah, my leg, <laughs> and he just falls over. It's like I can see hell. That's it. Maybe okay. a hellstorm happens. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Topic. On topic. Sweet okay. paint job. Um, Reckoner Redeemer is my favorite light jack. That is the best light jack he's in the game. I hate him. Um, Range 16, the power 12, bombs. Yeah, just put three two shots. focus on him and you just carpet bombs your yeah, shit. Ah, uh, does sure. so much work. And under, uh, I use him with P. Sevy and Quired and with I. Minoth. That's what I do. Yeah, he's hitting pretty hard. He's, uh, Especially if you take. Um, the last image of nine. Mm -hmm. And then the, you can put off three shots of that and the Vassal walks up and it's like, have another, another one! one. <laughs> yeah. And then Vanquisher's there, and he's shooting at one. The, the vassal comes out and is like, have another one! <laughs> it's yeah. just fucking fire everywhere. 16 inches is, that's a hell of a shot. Mm -hmm. Power 9 really? blast. Uh, I like Repenters, too. I think they're pretty good. They are good. Of course they're good. A pretty sweet little auto fire. They're really spray. cheap. I haven't found a spot for it yet. Um, mm. I just like the Redeemer so much more. Um, but yeah, it is good. Repenter is good. I like, uh, I like the Templar. Yeah, he's he's I've just never even seen that on the he's he's an armor twenty one with reach and chain weapon. He doesn't have reach, does he? I think he has reach. I don't think he has reach. I think he has reach and chain weapon. The but Templar anyway. with the no, he doesn't have. He, he has, has Thresher. He has, he's Thresher, no reach. No reach. Yeah. No, no, no. no. I'm th that's the Vanquisher. Vanquisher has Thresher, no reach. Not really. Yes. I don't, I don't I mean, think, let's look this up. Let's look it up. Just, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Vanquisher has Thresher, no reach. I know your I know your password now. But uh, but anyway, oh. let's let's keep talking. Uh, yeah. Um, Blue. Vanquishers are. I love Vanquishers because uh, it's got a great gun. Mm. AOE fire. Yeah, AOE uh, continuous fire. Um, it's great. Can't go wrong there. What was it called again? The Templar. Templar. <coughs> well, that's class. But classy uh, guy. Um, yeah, he does have. He's a power yeah. seventeen flail with chain weapon and beat back. And beat back. He's Ten nineteen speed four. Pal 17, but, you know, choir. <laughs> yeah, he's 10, 19 with a shield, with a shield so he goes up yeah. to armor 21. Yeah. You can I don't see why you don't... Oh, he's 8 points. Yeah, he's 8 points. So people are going to bring Crusader. But he's, be to reckon but he's that really yeah, good, though. He for, is good. For a... Like, I'm going to put this in a zone and try to remove it, Jack. He's really, really solid. Um, Blessing of Vengeance is really good if you're playing Peace Heavy. That's a must-have. Actually, he's good with a few different casters. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm sure... But why? Why yeah, would you bring? Yeah, P70 is really the way to go. Why wouldn't you just bring the uh, the other one? The other one. I don't know. Brain, brain fart. Depends on whether or not you have the points what? to spare. Maybe. What's the, other, what's the light jack called? What other light With, jack? Um, the arc node. Jack. The arc node. The revenger, right? Yeah. Revenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Revenger is the basic one. Yeah, I mean, if you're not playing P70, then just yeah. bring a revenger. Revenger might be a better. Um, the reason still has repel. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's talk about the best. The best light jack in the game, the vigilant, I don't, with his two plus two shields. That's I don't like that jack. Really. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so it's, stupid. It, it, it what prevents blast damage? It has it's girded. girded. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah but like I it's mean, got two okay. shield fists. It's power elevens. Okay, it's kind of neat if you put him it's, in the middle of some like some daughters using the daughters using yeah. him as like a daughter's like but he delivery system. delivery system he's gonna be he can't keep up he with can't him. keep up with no. It at all. no 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 but it's good for some casters because mm -hmm. some casters are so squishy that like blast yeah Sevy well that's why you bring 
This guy. Devout. He is, he is, he is a great shield, bodyguard. He has shield but, guard but, and his spell barrier. Yeah, that's pretty good. With thing. Harvey? I used to bring Devout with Harvey. For the shield guard and the spell barrier. It makes her, you know, you get to shield guard that one range shot, and then if somebody is like, oh, I want to cast a spell, can't be targeted by spells. Oh, Sevy can't be targeted by spells. He is purity. Yeah. And this, and then and a little bit defensive strike, you know, it's pretty good. Why something. not? Why not? Yeah, why not? Uh, but with shield guard, some of your you still could potentially take blast damage depending on how you're. Yeah. So and well, you can, can you still... can put it two inches away and, and you're safe from AOE threes and fours. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's talk about uh, the avatar. Uh, avatar is good. He's he's, he's a bot. He's a bot. Yeah, 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 yeah he his model is just his model's a little wonky. He's like a little church with legs. He's a church with tiny legs and a, and a butter tiny knife. sword and a yeah, butter knife. A butter knife, yeah. yeah. But I looked at his like his concept art when I was like looking through and seeing which faction I wanted to play. I was like, oh my god, he's amazing! And I ordered it and I put it together and I was like, what? <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> Are they missing some parts? They're like, what's going no. on here? He's yeah, he's definitely not the best looking Jack. Yeah. Uh, him, Jack, him and the Fire of Salvation are really fun. Fire of Salvation, I think, is one of the really best fun. Yeah. He's not used very often either. Let's go back to uh, Avatar here. Yeah, we're not okay, done with sure. Avatar. Because he's about. fucking, he's he's really damn good. So he's speed five. He's Matt eight with the choir. Yeah. Not with, I mean, Matt eight base. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with the choir, it becomes Matt ten. Oh, Nineteen twenty one. <laughs> yeah. And then Sevi, you know, he becomes Matt 11, Pal 22, and he's a terror. You don't see him with Sevi very often. No. No. I'm uh, I mean, he's... I like, when I played Sevi, I played Avatar and Reckoner. And that was, that was my Jax. I think he's awesome with Eye of Menoth and uh, Vision and Gaze. You can really fuck with people. Yeah, you just like Vision on Avatar, and then you put up Gaze, and they're like, uh, I didn't really know. <laughs> I don't want to attack him. I mean, I like, well, I guess I'm going to attack him. And they're like, terror check. <laughs> so it's like these little things that, I mean, sometimes it can really save your ass. And then he can't be targeted by spells. Yeah. So that's the that's cool. the cool part. But the, the one part that I, I I always get fucked on, it's like, man, I got him in range of a colossal I can charge. Let's do my focus roll. He gets a D3 plus one. Two. And it's like, no. fuck, I only get two focus. Mm. Shit. Yeah, that... That's kind of that really, so, some really people would think that would be uh, bad, but I think that him getting a D three, he can get four focus a turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's Potentially, pretty, yeah, but he, just, he probably always would. You know, if you had a model in your battle group, yeah, you know, you, you could just be like, make full, sure he does yeah, full focus. But yeah, I mean, it's free focus, so it's I guess free beggars focus. can't be choosers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's a good jack. Is it expensive for men off? Yeah, he's eleven points. Yeah. He's what they're most. He's the most expensive check. Mm -hmm. Well, besides Judy. Oh yeah, of course. But, yeah. What about Judy? What do you think about Judy? Great, especially with Ephiora. Oh my god. Bond. So you get you know you four four mm -hmm. focus on it and mm -hmm. continuous fire on everything it does. Mm -hmm. And with its additional the AOE, with, which scatters from where that thing. So like if yeah. you shot shoots out and it lands there. Uh, so and then, then you, you you do scatter for wherever it's gonna go, and then from that point you do another scatter from that from where it went, and it opens up instead of having uh, where it can scatter in the normal straight lines, it opens up little areas to where you can just fucking carpet bomb oh, people yeah. and you really can catch people way in the back. Yeah, you can get backfield stuff, and um, with Sevi, he it's pal ten blasts mm -hmm. flying around. So. We seem to talk about Sevi a lot just because of I. Yeah. yeah, I think. Well, I think Sevi is, is. I think it's he's Har top Harvey, four. He's top Harvey, four. and then Sevi. I think are the top two. He's. T uh, I think Krios. I love Krios, but Krios I, don't, I don't know if he's Krios? above. I think P Krios is amazing. I just that's yes, like I always favor like support casters, the ones that have the best buffs. And, P Krios like, has some pretty good buffs. Yeah. P. Krios does have some pretty good buffs. You won't but see I feel many like... not support casters in Minoth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all support heavy. And then there's like those trap casters with Engine of Destruction. And they're like, what do we do? And like, let me cast Engine of Destruction. And yeah, Resna can P. P. Uh, Fiora. Yeah. Uh, both of those are very corner case kind of casters. And yeah. uh, E. Sevi has got Creator's Wrath. 
Uh, it's like, why did you give okay, them that? Let's, let's talk about casters since we're talking about casters. Oh, God. Uh, pick, pick three casters that you should pick up straight up if you're going balls in on this if you're, are, you, are we talking about tournament level? We're going level? balls in You want to play tournaments, you're going to get E. Fiora, P. Sevi, I guess Harvey, Harvey but no, I, Harvey. I would go no, one Harvey. of the Krioses. You just don't like... Harvey and like E Haley and like Lich too, but you want to you you want to play Harvey. Yeah. Um, Harvey is is amazing. You want her in your tool bag mm -hmm. for yeah. You really do. I, I think E and P Fiora. I think P Fiora is pretty good too. Oh yeah, There's nothing wrong with P Fiora. She's just like P Kane, where she's like your whole army's on fire. Ah, uh, yeah. feet. Yeah, that's good. It's like potentially, you. and then your first like one, one, yeah, one. yeah. yeah. Well, it's your feet very... nothing. <laughs> How nah. often does that happen? Yeah, it's nah. very possible though. Yeah, I mean her feet's gonna be. A little bit I, I weird. honestly think Intercessor Krios, Krios three, Krios three's fun. Is he's fucking great. good. I think he's, he's great. No, he's no Vlad three. Yeah, uh, mm -mm. no, he's not Vlad three. But, but he can really. Avengers are pretty amazing though. I like that he gives them divine inspiration. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah. Divine inspiration. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it's signs of importance. importance on Avengers, which are uh, they're already blessed. Mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> and his tier list, you can take two units. Well, that and they and they also get the cavalry powerful charge. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they, they have go. brutal some kind of. No, if they about have the strength of brotherhood or whatever, battle driven. Yeah. Battle driven. That's what it is. Yeah. So they're already pal fourteen starting out. Mm -hmm. It can go up to pal sixteens. Eighteen with ignite. And, and then ignite. you can ignite them, and then you have size importance pretty much. Mm -hmm. You drop so, colossals at you that point. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, just like Ulans. Ulans drop colossals with yeah. with, and even yeah. when they get stuck in, they're still going to be twelve. They get damaged. They're going to be twelve nineteens, but their base is twelve seventeen. Mm -hmm. And then they have the close combat rule where they have a well, pow nine weapon master sword. Mm -hmm. You know, ignited. It's pow eleven. Pow eleven weapon master good. kills things. And a pow thirteen ten. if it's battle driven. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pow thirteen weapon masters though. Okay, mm -hmm. And then. Um, they're a little pal ten mount, and they're fearless. So, like they, every, I don't know why everything in protector it's fucking fearless. I don't think I think the zealots or don't have it, but they get it granted by their monolith bear. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's granted fearless. And temple flame guard don't have it, but they that's granted by it's their, granted by yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. uh, Deliverers don't have it, but well, it's probably well, granted. No, they don't have it. Okay, they don't have it. And then uh, daughters of the flame don't have it. And choir don't have it. Yeah. But yeah, it's. But everything Point else, being, there's a lot of fearless. Yeah. So, Point being, all the units that you're going to play. So, what are the. In the front, anyway. So, by changing to. Well, you know, adding this faction to your repertoire, what do you. Uh, repertoire. 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 <laughs> what do you, uh, are you. Are you happy with it? Are you, are you yeah. having fun? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I've played three games and two and one. Tell them about that game we played. The one I lost is. Stupid e, e take, Haley cheese. Take a take a no, I don't ever want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, let's, let's just you know what happened. No, it's just E Haley uh, Stormwall turn to assassination bullshit. I don't care. It's stupid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, and speaking of that, let's talk about uh, your change into oh, so, Signar. I want to go into this game a little bit <laughs> oh, because, oh just because I want to rub it into his face, just kick sand into his mouth when he's on the ground. That's kind of vicious. Yep. Um, so we spent more time deploying than actually playing the game. Yeah. He moved up Sevy about three inches, had Errants on one side, Zealotsy on the other, and Jacks in the middle, and he didn't screen him at all. I didn't... And I ran, I ran, I went first, so I ran Stormwall right up the middle, and had um, E. Haley about three inches behind him, and on, an, on a, uh, behind some cover. And the, f the only thing I did is, it, like, his first turn, he was redeem like using the Redeemer to try and kill some Rangers that were in a forest. He, he killed a lot of them. They, they passed their command check. So I had two left. And uh, on my turn, just allocated four to the Stormwall, ran one of the Rangers into position to mark target. Uh, e. Haley activated, walked up, popped her feet, temple acceleration on uh, Stormwall. He walked nine inches forward. And put three defender cannon shots right <laughs> in Severius's face at Rad Eight. I, I wasn't excited. Like there was cover like on the sides, like way mm. over here that I probably could have got to, but I didn't. I just moved up like, <laughs> and then so yeah, I underestimated the stormwall and that temporal acceleration. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
walking nine inches and being able to shoot. That's it's a fucking 23 inch. It's bro. That's really 23 good. 23 inch. Yeah. Shouldn't have put that in the game. I'm not going to lie. Let's talk about some Signar. So you used to play Trolls. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I was like, I was playing Trolls for a while. And I was, I love Trolls, but I was unhappy with some of the, it, we're more like, we don't answer a lot, like, we don't ask a lot of questions with the faction. We're more like, I don't give a fuck about your faction, your questions, and all that shit. I'm just going to tough through it. And I'm just going to push my shit, your shit down. Well, usually that tough is the question. Mm -hmm. That is the question that you bring. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but like, you know, it's, it's usually yeah. like, okay, we know there's a trap there. Yeah. Well, let's go spring it. <laughs> and like, that's what trolls do. They just kind of rush into their face. I mean, like, you know, I mean, I played Prime Grim and stuff like that, which, and Egrim, which are completely different play styles. But those, like, my main ones that I was playing here, like Epic Magic and uh, E Doom Shaper and stuff like that, which can be shut down pretty quick. E Doom pretty Shaper is really. You started playing Runes of War there for a while. Yeah, I started oh, playing yeah. Runes of War, and that was pretty fun. So, um, but um, they just, they were so synergy driven, and they just kind of, just got a little, a little tedious. You know, I wanted some flashy stuff. I wanted some yeah, shooty stuff. I wanted some flashy stuff. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, trolls are just like, here are our stats, we're going to buff one of these. To whichever With where we need it. Stupid. Yeah, it's like, oh, on the approach, we're going to skew our armor. And then on the offense, we can skew our mat and our damage. And, like, that's that's every, almost every list is like that. And then Prime Grim is just reversing that. It's like, I'm going to take your defense down <laughs> and then buff my damage up. And um, <clears throat> so I just I wanted the exact opposite of what trolls were. And, and that was, was Signal. What was that look? I don't know if that's the exact opposite. Uh, I feel like it is. Okay. It's yeah, just, it's not, there's, it is. there's not, <laughs> like, Signar is like, like, how I play Signar, yeah, it's completely opposite of Trolls. Like, Trolls, Epic Magic, bunch of melee units charging across the board and, and attacking, and a lot of synergy and all that stuff. How I play Signar is, like, all shooty. Uh, there's not a lot of like synergy between all the you things that I put out there. It's more like um, you know, I have the Tempest Blazers out there and Black Thirteenth and you know Boom Howlers and a Stormwall and E Haley and like they're all kind of just killing he by each other. He loves him some E Haley. Yeah. People are gonna <laughs> stop playing him. Uh, I'm playing. I'm gonna start playing the Canes more because everyone cries about the Haley's. No, I don't care. Oh. I don't, care. I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there, it's just it's just different. Okay. Like there's there's such powerhouse casters, so, and trolls really don't have a powerhouse caster. They have really good casters. Not there's not one weak one. Even Gunborn is a decent caster. They just don't have a ball busting okay. caster. So let's talk about your pros and cons of switching to this new faction. Uh, allocating focus, um, and. They don't have, Sigdar does not have the staying power of trolls at all. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you scalpel out those solos and the right pieces so you can kind of kick them in the nuts. So that next turn, uh, they're really crippled on what they can deliver to you. Trolls are just, you're just like, yeah, deal with it. <laughs> and it's like, there's a 33% chance you're not going to kill any of this shit. With Signar, it's just like you just have to go in guns blazing, play really aggressive, and hopefully you can ca you can cripple them before they get to you. Right? They're they're a little weak on scenario. They yeah. are. Um, I'm starting to get the hang of it and how to how to um, to do that. Well, my E Kane list it's it's amazing scenario. It's an arcane shield. You, you have to build your list. Howler, Forge Forge Guard. You know, good stuff. Um, there's going to be some Murdoch uh, Nis Hunters in it. Just because uh, they don't need to be with with E Kane, you don't need them to be friendly faction. I just really like go to ground. Yeah, go to ground with Nest Hunters well. and assault with the Nest Hunters. Oh, so good, so good. Yeah, it is. And uh, so the the about the only thing that you're having a problem with is switching to the focus system instead of the fear mm -hmm. system. Yeah, it's like um, just not being able to transfer. It's, you it's warlocks sad. can play so far, so much farther forward than warcasters can. Like certain warcasters, some like butcher. It's like, ah, I'm giving a fuck. Let <laughs> me up front. 
But like, you know, E. Haley and like Canes and stuff like that, if you're playing forward, you had better make sure you're to fucking kill the things that can get to you or you're screened properly or you've got cover or they can't draw a line of sight in any way or you're st sitting on a lot of focus. And okay. It's just like... So, uh, let's talk about uh, uh, you getting into it like like like, like Matt did. Like, mm. like uh, what, uh, what did you end up buying to start out with? Like, what... What did you end up starting with? Well, I got um, like like. Do you suggest like starting with the battle box? You said suggest buying things. Oh, uh, the battle box is pretty good. Yeah, um, pretty. it gives you um three models that you may use. You may you may use. use, like the Lancer. Well, sorry. let's be honest. It gives you four models that you may use. I like the Striker. <laughs> he's he's gonna be. I'm gonna start playing him a lot with his combined arms list. Um, I think he's. I think he's really good. Um, I think he can be amazing on scenario. Mm, I can see that. Um, What's his combined arms list? It, combined arms is more like uh, you've got you know a good mix of melee presence and range presence. And for, no, not necessarily his tier so list. Got, talking yeah, about. yeah, no. I was so you have Boom Hallers and Horgenhold yeah. as a tar pit, the second wave, and then I've got Black Thirteenth and Temp's Blazers in there. Um, and those guys will be holding down the flanks and picking off solos and whatnots. <laughs> and then. Um, I'm going to have Journeyman Warcaster so I can have two sources of Arcane Shield out, and then Blur and Snipe, and then on with with Feet and two sources of Arcane Shielding, uh, you can be like, that's my scenario. Okay. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the mm -hmm. units. Now, I know that uh, the general, you know... He loves Stormblades. <laughs> generally, <laughs> Menoth is... I mean, not Menoth. Signar is actually kind of half Mercs, half... Met, uh, you know, Signar. So, so let's talk Sigmerks. about some of the things that you should probably pick up Six. if you if you want to go balls in on Merc Signar. Gar. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to go balls in on Signar. What should you pick up? Uh, some some really good mercenaries. I think I think any. I mean, anyone. Really well, let's have let's this. go Signar first. Signar so first. so Rangers. Yes, Rangers are awesome. Um, they have this nifty little marked target, and that's with if anything is within five inches of them in their line of sight. Another friendly faction model targeting that with a range attack gets a plus two to the attack roll. Mm -hmm. um, their stats are fucking sweet too. Uh, they're speed sevens. They just fucking run them. I mean, most of the time you're just kind of hiding them off in a corner where they're not getting killed, and then you're wanting run, well, running one a turn to get into that area that you need to mark target to. Um, so they're speed sevens, defense fourteen, armor eleven, a pathfinder, and advanced support. And they have a power eleven gun too. Which Range ten, power fine. eleven gun, pretty good. With um, camouflage and prowl, so they're they're pretty, pretty, awesome. pretty defensible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no they're, blast kill, but that's about yeah. it. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> but the first unit you should pick up after you get the battle box is the black thirteenth. I would suggest that too. That's the first thing you need to get. These guys, and it froze up. <laughs> <laughs> Black 13th yeah, wait, wait. is... I want to tell a story about the Black 13th while well, his thing unfreezes. We just had a, uh, a tournament. Okay, so it's unfrozen. So, yeah. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. You can tell your story. I like my Go story. Ahead. I was playing against a, a Signar, Signar fellow. I'm afraid I don't remember his name because I'm bad with names. Keith. Uh, he was from out of town. Is that his name? Keith or Kevin. Kevin? It was our local was guy. Keith. I think it was our local guy. The big guy. I've never seen him before. Okay. Was it? Oh, it was him? Oh, it was not one of the Game 3 dudes? No, no. It was uh, the big guy. Yeah, he's from around here. I, I've never seen He's him. our second group that plays like on Saturdays. Yeah. Those guys? There's a group of people that plays, yeah, Saturdays play that. That plays on like Saturdays and Sundays that don't even... I've been here the last three Sundays in a row. Yeah, I've never he's, seen yes. anybody he's else. here sometimes. Huh. Yeah. I gotta get, I gotta get in touch with him. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, he was playing Signar, and uh, I moved, uh, I ran up, I was playing Circle, I ran up Lord of the Feast, uh -oh. and uh, just, a, and then just a little too far, a little, a little too far, he uh, he moved the Black 13th up, and he was, you know, he was in the range, to, um, laid down his little flare thing, and then shot him, left it with one hit point, then Lord of the Feast charged, Blood Reapered all of them off the table. And wow, it was man. the greatest feeling ever. Great story, bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> cool story, bro. Continue. You know, I don't think that's ever happened know, in this game ever. Cool. I think that you just made Kill, like a killing, record. Killing all three of them in one turn. turn. Record. <laughs> I think you should have a shirt. It was exciting, and you can suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was exciting? 
putting two defender cannon shots in the piece heavy on turn two. Can we keep going, please? Yeah, and try to stay on track. Here. Oh, shut the fuck up, <laughs> Mr. Storytime. <laughs> um, Everybody loves my story time. No. Okay, awesome. so we're going to go over the three members of the Black 13th. They have cool names and hats and stuff. <laughs> Hat and <laughs> Um, and their scale. Oh my god, they're models. Yeah, they're <laughs> like this big and like a normal arcane tempest. Is, it's I believe, so... I believe they're like 25 millimeter. I would think they're about They're five. so small compared to the rest of them. But, um, so they're, they're all speed 6. They're defense 15, armor 11. They're rat 8. Really good. They're gunfighter. Um, two of them have a mage lock pistol, one mage lock pistol, range 10, pow 10. Uh, Watts has, no, Ryan has two. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Ryan has two. Um, everyone has the same stats, but they all have different uh, uh, attack types. Uh, Lynch, the leader, has True Sight. He can ignore concealment, camouflage, and stealth. And he has Black Penny, Brutal Damage, and Snipe. His special is Fire Beacon. It, can put, it doesn't do any damage, you know, but it puts out an AoE 5, and, and uh, other models drawing line of sight to it can, can ignore, ignore camouflage and stealth, and ignore... Uh, cloud effects when drawing lines, yeah, determining line of sight to it. Uh, and then my favorite is Orion. His Mage Storm pistols. Fucking awesome. It's an AoE 4. Everything that's in it takes a PAL 12. PAL 12 magical damage roll. Uh, and then anything, and it stays there and it's a cloud effect. Anything entering or ending takes another PAL 12. So it's great for another little piece of Signar board control. Um, and then Watts is like the one that you like, it's kind of a joke, it's like send Watts first. Let him die first. Because he has granted prowl, that's all he does for them. And he, and between the, all the, the true sight and the mage storm, you just, Watts is the speed bump. You throw him out, let him die first. Um, but that's the black 13th, okay. or, or the broken 13th. So, uh, that's your character unit, so you definitely want to pick Probably that up. one of the best character units in the game. Yeah. Four points. Forgot to put that point. Yeah, point four points. points. Four points for these guys. Uh, probably just Arcane Tempest Gun Mages with the UA is another good thing to pick up. They're pretty good. Um, yeah, they're, they're really good to run by themselves, but uh, the whole Arcane Tempest Gun Mage boat, which, with because the, the attachment brings in the Jack Marshal, so you can have a hunter. Mm -hmm. A hunter or a defender. A hunter or a defender. Um, the hunter seems to be taken more, but um, I've seen a lot of people take defender, and it's just, I think it's, I think it's really preference. If you have three extra points, actually four extra points, I think the hunter's five. I can't remember. It's either three or four extra points. If you have think, that. No, the hunter's six. Hundred six. So, so defender's nine. So if you have three extra points and you're like, well, I don't, I don't want to bring this hunter. That's good in the game. Bring the defender. And he's a range sixteen, pal fifteen. Roughly, they're going to be doing almost the same amount of damage. Yeah. Yeah. But, but if they get into melee combat, the, the defender gonna... can knock around. Some and defense. the hunter can always just walk away though. Yeah. So, sure. Yeah. Um. And uh, with a crit, brutal damage. On Defender. It's pretty broken. Yeah. Any other um, units that you would suggest, like, mm. purchasing into that's Signar based? Signar, um, Tempest Blazers are the best yeah, light cavalry. They're, they're kind of neat. They're kind of neat. I wouldn't suggest. I actually, they're, they're not used very much on the national scene. They're just not. <laughs> I don't see why. I'm I mean, loving I them. I'm loving them. They're, they're amazing. Great. They're but really I think good. Raptors are the best. I think Raptors are the best. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but the Tempest Blazers are their speed nine, Rat seven, defense fifteen, armor thirteen, gunfighter and pathfinder. They can either do brutal damage. Um, yeah, it's brutal damage. They have brutal damage. It's not crit. Just straight brutal yeah, damage. Straight brutal damage. Blessed or electric. Blessed or electric. Yeah. Um, they are uh, an auto include in P Haley lists. Uh, between the feet and temporal barrier, they can they can just clear tar pits out. Um, though with their feet, they're just going to be doing e leaps, and they can just get two attacks a piece or brutal damage, and they keep moving back. And with temporal barrier, they can never be jammed. Okay. And they're getting a, they're basically effective rat nine with temporal okay. barrier. Up. Let's talk about some mercs. Uh, Alexia, Holden Horde Forge Guard. And boom howlers. Boom howlers, I think, should be the first thing that you get. If you go to Signar, you get boom howlers. Yeah. 
They're the best tar pit in the game. Yeah, Boom Howlers, Alexian, Holden, Horde, Forge Guard are the three that I would suggest. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nis, Nis a little bit later if you want to run yeah, some Nis. Nis, are, Nis can be hard to run um, in the beginning because they're um, pretty fragile. Um, they don't have really... Yeah. And Signar doesn't really do anything to... Unless you get Murdoch and bring him into faction. Then, you know, Arcane Shield's not going to really do much for him. Blur is good on him. Um, but other than that, and then um, Lady Ayana and Master Holt. Yeah, Lady Ayana, Ayana and Holt. Them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, and, for, yeah, and you, you know, and then after that, once you get all that stuff, you can mess around with Precursor Knights, um, you know, Nis Hunters. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Okay, let's talk about some Jacks. Uh, uh, the Jacks. Let's do some must buy Jacks. Hunters. Stormwall. Hunters. Stormwall. Stormwall. That's all you need. Yeah. Honestly, you could run a storm wall with every person in Signar, and they'd all be like, I'm, I'm cool with this. Mm -hmm. I can I can help it out. Um, I think E. Kane might be the only person that's like, can't really do much for it. Because mm -hmm. they can't really allocate focus. No, he's he's going to be magic Shooting. bullet and doing some upkeeps and stuff like that. But, um, so... The, some of the best ones um, would be definitely Stormwall's the best. He's the best one you can bring. Um, Centurion's really good. Um, he has a uh, special action polarity shield. So no charging. Mm -hmm. Or polarity field, so nothing can charge him if you use that. And he that. hits like a truck, too. No, he's yeah. power 18 with cri uh, uh, critical sustained attack. And he's armor 19 with a shield, so he goes to the 21. He's got 30 hit points. Speed four, mad six. I mean, he's, he's he's a Kadorian Jack, is what he is. But uh, with Signar, they have <laughs> every list yeah. can have access to Arcane Shield to put on him, so he becomes armor twenty four. Yeah, every list can with yeah. Journeyman. Yeah, every list can have Arcane Shield in it if you just have that three points left over. <clears throat> and then uh, after that, hunters, hunters are really um, really good. We'll go over heavies here. Um, so Centurions, um, ones that you see a lot. Old Rowdy. Uh, Old Rowdy. Hammersmith is uh, uh, pretty good. I don't ever see him, though. I've seen him quite a bit. And, and Nemo's... Um, oh, because you can do that little trick with Nemo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything that you can buff his damage with, um, he becomes pretty pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, Old Rowdy. Hammersmith is good. Um, oh, did I mention the Stormwall? Yeah, you should get Stormwall. I think so. You get that? Huh? And Thunderhead's all right. Thunderhead is... is He's kind of fun. He's pretty expensive. He's 12 points. But he can purge every turn. Yeah, but that can hit your own units. The, the problem with that is the fact that... he's not that in his line of sight. It's a lot everything of, around him. Yeah. yeah. A lot of what you want to do with Signar, Signar has a lot of infantry clearing, mm -hmm. and he just adds more infantry clearing. So you're when just you putting... Really like circle, when you yeah. really need to spin yeah. those points You're just putting icing state. on top of icing. Mm -hmm. so. And it's just a cake with like this much of cake batter and that much of icing. You're like, man, I don't want anymore. This is too much. <laughs> I have diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, those 12 points you need to spend, you'd rather spend it on a beat stick. Yeah. I think the, the Blazers can do a better job of clearing out infantry than the Thunder. Okay. Can. Let's talk about some lights. Uh, Minuteman. He loves him some Minuteman. So fucking awesome. It's kind of fun. Nemo 2 and Cray, the Minuteman, get the Minutemen. Mm -hmm. Minute Thorn. Uh, are, are, are amazing. The Minutemen, just, they're so fun to play. Um, Thorn's awesome. He's pretty expensive. He's eight points. But if you run one of the Haley's, he's, he's worth it. What does he give the Haley's? What's his? Uh, he has, um, Thorn just, has affinity where they can, he can still channel if he's engaged. Yeah, and that's with the Haley's. That's yeah, only, that's affinity with Haley. And then he has imprint disengage. He spent one focus point to use disengage. Uh, if somebody misses him, he gets to move two inches with any attack or, or a melee attack, excuse me. And then um, when he's when he's doing that, uh, he can't be targeted by free strikes. And if you channel spells through him, he gets to move three inches. Yeah, uh, once per turn. Once per turn. And then on top of that, he has disruption, set defense, shock field, and cortex damage. So so the same you, thing that if you hit him. You're going to be getting uh, damage done to your first available Cortex of your Warjack. Um, and then if he hits you with a shield, he's going to be doing damage to your Cortex. If he hits you with a spear, you're going to be disrupted. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. He's pretty survivable, too. I mean, he's 13-16 with a shield, so he's 13-18. Again, you can have Arcane Shield in any, 
any one of these lists. So, um, you know, with set defense, he's going up to 15. So, I mean, if you charge him with a non-reach model, or even with a reach model, and you don't get base to base with him, and you miss that charge attack, he's just like, bah, and he just walks away from you. Pretty good. Um, Lancer is the six-point version of that. Mm -hmm. code. He doesn't have good. all the, the bling. But he doesn't really think he needs it. Other than that, the, um, excuse you? <laughs> You sniffing my ribcage? <laughs> smells good. Um, other than that, there's not really any of the lights that, besides the hunter, um, some firefly in some mm, in some list. Weird. He's kind of weird. Yeah. Charger. Okay. Three yeah. casters. If you're playing tournament scene, buying three casters. What three casters do you buy? E cane, P cane, and E Haley. Or E cane, P Haley, and E cane, E Haley. Okay. I just like them so much. They're just really good. <laughs> um, we're going to go over my favorite caster in the whole game, uh, which would be E. Kane. Favorite caster in the game? Favorite caster, fluff, his model, his spells, his feet, everything. It just makes, I have, just, this is what happens in my pants every really time good. I put them on the table. It just gets tight and hard. So what is, <laughs> uh, we're, we're worried about time constraints. Oh, so yeah. We really can't go over that. No, we got time. We got Tom? What Tom we got? That's one four quarter till. Okay. All right. So we got some Tom. Uh, yeah, I'll just go over him. We can stop talking about Signar. Mm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, he's speed seven. Uh, he's rat nine. Defense 17, armor 13, gunfighter. He's got two spell... Two spell... Spell storm pistols. That. That's that word. <laughs> spell storm pistols. I just watched Strange Villagers the other day, and he's like, brown blares, blue, blue. Blue. maybe it's all the bees. <laughs> Red bears love fish. <laughs> uh, he's got two uh, spell storm pistols, the range 12, pal 12, magical. Two initials of those. And the best part about it is the rate of fire infinite. Mm -hmm. As long as you have focus, you can keep shooting. He gives elite cadre out to the friendly, uh, to arcane tempest uh, models, um, which are... The, the Tempest gunfire. Blazers already have Gunfighter, but the Arcane Tempest Gun Mages do not, so they get Gunfighter. It's kind of interesting really if good. they get jammed, because yeah. they're just like, get back! Yeah, Thunderbolt. <laughs> and then um, Range Amplifier, so he gets plus, plus five when he is the point of origin from a spell. So he can throw out 17-inch um, Arcane Bolts, he can buff his models from 11 inches away, um, stuff like that. And then his spell list is, is a pretty good spell list. I forget he has us that other than True Shot and Gage Crasher. forget that he has other spells. Uh, he has, you know, Arcane Bolt, right? Or no, who cares? Arcane Bolt. It's, it's all. better to spend your focus on the shot. Yeah. That's, uh, the, that is a useless highly, spell. Highly situational. You may be like, oh, shit, I can't get there. I got a Vorecaster with one point left and a bunch of focus. Might as well get a Tools. 17 inch, throw out a 17 this inch. Is a 17 inch? With his range of oh, fire, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's only focus 6 and it's only a POW 11. So, yeah. Yeah. And then he has Blur, plus 3 defense against ranged magic attacks. Gate Crasher, it's a teleport, except that you don't end your activation. It costs 3, you teleport anything uh, within 8 inches. You're placed within you're, 8 you're inches. You're placed completely within 8 inches. Um, and after, after you. You do that, um, you can't move, and you can only shoot things in your melee range. Um, you can only cast it once. And then he has heightened reflexes, uh, target friendly model, cannot be knocked down or made stationary. Then he has magic bullet, friendly, doo -doo, yeah. all that. Uh, and he has true shot, it ignores concealment, camouflage, and stealth, which is pretty fucking awesome. It's really good. And then his feet. Oh, yeah. Go so ahead. good. Um, <laughs> clean up and go ahead. Yes. Uh, after resolving each range attack that hits an enemy model, Kane gives a gains a cumulative cumulative plus one to his spell storm pistol damage rolls. When a model is boxed by spell storm pistol attack, center an AOE three on it and remove it from play. Models in the AOE are hit and suffer an unboostable POW ten blast damage roll. Um. So yeah, he can he can. With Reinhold, he has three initials. Then uh, Squire can pull off another focus, so he has seven focus. So he can make ten shots, and the last shot's going to be POW 21. Mm -hmm. So it's very possible for Kane to take out Colossals by himself. It's true. 
Um, he can also just wipe out infantry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so and and he's really good against Emor Vana because he's like, oh, all these blood trackers and stuff and shit, I'm just going to start shooting him. They're going to blow up an AoE threes with pow tens and, and ES fixes fixes too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um you can just you can just remove them from play, clear out a lot of infantry. It's pretty pretty good stuff. So uh how has your change been? Like have you had a lot of fun changing up or Yeah, I, I like playing a, a warcaster that's like sneaky and can get really cool assassination runs. Like E Striker, Velocity and like changing vectors. Trolls really have that straightforward it's easy to tell when it's coming. But it surprisingly hits way really fucking hard. Like this is like, you know, it's just sneaky. I mean, each striker is the hardest hitting thing in the game. But <laughs> besides an Earthborn next to a Kovas, um, but yeah, it's just fun getting assassin assassination runs off. It's good. Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh. I want to take a little time. Anybody want to discuss uh, Butcher Three since he just came out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so good. He's really fun. I don't want to. Oh, can we just pretend he didn't come out? I think he's great. Um, I think he's kind of what Kador needed for a little while. Uh, He's not the hero. Of <laughs> <laughs> we just watched Dark Knight Rises. Uh, just <laughs> He's the uh, hero Kador he, he needs. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of is, though. Uh, we needed a way to uh, to take care of Tough a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, that's a, it's a good jump. Yeah. It's a good jump. Look at, great model, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, he's so, a, yeah. He's a solid guy. Uh, we'll, uh, I'll be back uh, with Simon in a future episode. We'll give like a full in-depth review after we've played around with him for a little while. Tactical. And yeah. then, I guess, me and him will go over how... You fucking stay safe and how you deal with that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, look for that in the future. So uh, let's go over what are, what have we been doing, Mike? What have you been doing? Huh? I just got the Lord of the, uh, the Lord of the Rings, um, Game of Thrones. I, I gotta eat something today. I've been up since eight and I haven't eaten yet. I've been up since six. Oh! And I got my hair did. That's yeah, nice. Looks good. <laughs> Looks good. Um, I just got the Game of Thrones role playing book, and I'm gonna be running. Running that soon. Hey, do it on so a Sunday. So excited! Do yeah, it Sunday. it's most likely going to be on a Sunday. Yeah, cool. Um, it'll be like late Sunday nights. Yeah, I'm going to try and get encounters here, here in Asheville, uh, Wyward's Tale. Try and run some like just getting people into the game. Oh, yes. So. By the way, we're recording here at the Wyward's Tale in sunny Asheville, North Carolina. It actually is sunny. It's yeah. a very nice yeah. couple of days. It's a little gray. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a little. Gray. Yesterday was beautiful. You're a liar. Cause no. It's gray. It was beautiful yes, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying that. Oh, previous statement was a lie. No, <laughs> well, it's not rainy. No, it's just but a it's little, great. It's not like the 110 percent rainfall we've had so far <laughs> this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's. I'm just fucking can't wait to run some Game of Thrones, man. Yeah. Doing an alternate history. Kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sweet. it's gonna be. It's so in depth. It's the most in depth role playing game I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, it's really fucking complicated. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are there a lot of like job? I mean, classes. You can do literally whatever you want. Just whatever you. You can be a lord of a house and just sit in your house and just be like attack and, and like well, you yeah, have your own house with its physical stats of your house and population and like. It can't be as it can't be as gamey as most other mm -hmm. things because it's fucking you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Game it's of Thrones, so it can't heavy, be as gamey. It's heavy role playing. And when I say gamey, I mean like arcade kind of like oh. But, yeah, there's no like D&D fourth edition. There is like, you know, there is like I'm going to move and attack, but it, that's like fucking 5% of the game. Yeah. Most of it's done with like, you know, there's these things called intrigues and stuff like that. So it's like my character knows uh, you know, me and him are playing are like doing an intrigue where you're trying to manipulate me. We know, I know that you're trying to manipulate, but our characters don't. So so he tries to manipulate, he rolls an intrigue, I fail to defend against that intrigue, so my character has to role play that he is, uh, what? <laughs> what? Do tell. <laughs> but my character, I know that, fuck, man. I'm like, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's like that. It's pretty cool. That's cool. It's yeah. interesting. So you, you have, different. like, combat defense, and then you have, like, your mind and mental defense from, like, people scheming and planning on you and, like, how aware you are of that. <laughs> So. Seems interesting. It is. You have to be a really good role player. Crazy. It was like a net. <laughs> 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 like, what the 
happening? <laughs> Matt, what have you been doing recently? Uh, I just got a new job a few weeks yeah. ago. Um, so I I don't get to play War Machine as much. Cause but we're trying to set up some. But you do get to go to like all the cons yeah, and the all the sun, off, Saturday so like, and Sunday events. I can now do stuff on weekends, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to look forward to doing that. Cool. Um, really not much going on. Putting the putting the men off together, buying lots of playing any interesting Steam games like you normally do. Mm-hmm. Binding of Daisy. Uh, yeah, I I I am playing Isaac. I'm trying to get the Platinum God right now. I don't and, even know uh, what that means. And well, it means you have to you have to kill your mom's heart ten times. You have to defeat Satan. You have to defeat Isaac and the Blue Baby. And collect all the items and secrets. Awesome. I'm worried it's, for you. It's you a pain in the ass. Slit your wrist or something. That's so <laughs> highly <laughs> depressed yeah, right I was like, you're killing babies and gods and your mother. And you're eating <laughs> your mom's heart? And what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the like, hell, man? That's kind like, of... Like, you gotta kill like... your mom, and then you, like, <laughs> go into her uterus, and then you weigh up. What? <laughs> you know. You no. Know. That's that's about the dirtiest thing that's been said on the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> kill your mom, and then <laughs> get into her uterus somehow. I gotta kill her and get up in it. Just wear <laughs> your mom like a suit. <laughs> Just a and puppet. Then, just and then <laughs> kill Satan with your mom's <laughs> It's It's a oh, crazy fuck. game. And you gotta get all the items and there's like stuff like familiars. Like you get Sister Maggie, which is like your sister's you aborted like, fetus. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You have to wear like people's uter- uteruses as boxing gloves or something? No. Like, like, that that seems like, interesting. But oh god. Sad. So, uh, I guess I'll, I'll go next. That's, How do you follow that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I might be able to. <laughs> so, I've been, uh, I've been rediscovering Fallout New Vegas. Came out you say rediscovering your sexuality. No. Seriously? No. <laughs> Uterus box? <laughs> yeah! I don't know. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> he knows about him. I didn't say anything. No, that was... <laughs> So, so I've been rediscovering Fallout New Vegas. Came out in 2010, kind of an older game. Uh, I've been playing through, downloaded one of the expansion packs, and just, just to try it out. So you get warped to this. You find like a satellite, crash satellite. You get warped to this like moon base kind of thing. So you're sitting there in this this moon base, and like there's these brain guys that keep talking to you. Like their faces are like just LCD screens, and like like two eyes and a mouth and it's like brr, 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 and just just talking to you and like apparently they lobotomized you and you have to find your brain and you have to find different pieces of your body and put yourself back together that's the whole thing fucking sweet but <laughs> they don't like the people that they've lobotom like gave lobotomies to mostly go crazy and you're the first one that's kept like your your brain stuff and act and like like in one part since I've been going straight speech, I've been trying to like kind of manipulate them. Mm-hmm. And like at one time they're like, how does he understand me? And it's like, oh, we'll pick up your hand and wave. So you pick up your hand and you, and you wave like is the thing. And it's like, what is it doing? There's five erect penises on its arm. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> he's like, I don't believe those are erect penises. He's like, he's like, well, what are those on his feet? There's tiny erect penises on his feet. <laughs> And it is pretty hilarious. Oh my God. And and there's an ongoing just erect penis joke throughout the entire expansion pack. So it's very humorous to me. Nice. Penises, pretty hilarious. Penises <laughs> are funny in any language. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Universal language of penis. Yeah. But uh, I just like I just picture just, just what it's giant erect dicks. Just <laughs> dick fingers. Dick fingers. It's like cards yeah. against humanity. There's yeah. a card. Dick fingers. Yeah. <laughs> It is pretty Anybody going to play oh, Saints Row 4? Uh, I'm actually oh going to pick God. it up in a little while. Yeah, I'm going to get uh, it. Because I, I really enjoy the Saints Row uh, thing. Uh, I, got, I got an airbrush coming in this week. so uh, It's got an otter box. Throw it against the wall if you want. <laughs> oh. I got an airbrush <laughs> coming in later this week. And uh, hopefully I'll do some like unboxing airbrush tutorials maybe. I don't Without know. Without horse penises. Without horse dicks. So. <laughs> Turn it over. There's a horse dick. There's a horse dick. <laughs> All the time. All the horse sticks. Anyway, anything else you guys want to talk about? Anything? We have anything anything coming oh, up? Oh, shout out to Tom. It's his birthday. Yeah. It's his Happy birthday, birthday today. Tom. And it was your birthday yesterday. Yes, it was. My happy Wolverine. birthday. Mm-hmm. And happy birthday, Tom. But also, fuck you in Oklahoma. Fuck Oklahoma. And you. And you. Yeah. Yeah, just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, there is actually a few different things coming up. Uh, there's the... Is it the... 
Is it OCD? Is that what it is? No, that isn't right. Anyway. <laughs> no, that's not, <laughs> that's, no, that's uh, not right. That's, that's not right. not right at all. That's not right at all. What are you anyway, talking about? Uh, the, the big tournament in, uh, in uh, October that's going to be for breast cancer awareness. Oh, yeah. Wasn't Brian saying this That's Brian's thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't have my tablet with me today, or yeah. else I would bring it up. I'll put some stuff down in the comments, and I'll post yeah. some different or stuff about it. Join WNC Star Wars. Or join the WNC Star Wars. Or like fun. Killbox page. Please and like we'll the have, Killbox we'll page. We'll have all the tournaments and everything. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we have like, we have like 12 likes. Yeah. I need to get like 50 before I can really start spamming things yeah. about it. So come on. So, give us some likes. Fucking so get those fat cool. fingers over there. And yeah, meh, meh. Stop yeah. playing fucking hunters on your wows. Yeah. <laughs> just rolling your face on the keyboard it's the best to do DPS. Archer system in any game Bull ever. fucking shit. What? <laughs> just running I don't around. Think Camelot had the best archer system in any game. Any MMO. No, I I was being. That's what. Yeah, that's what Lee said. Lee. And you know what? Fuck Lee. <laughs> Bastard. Anyway, uh, thanks a bunch. That was episode eleven. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.